The Trump White House is stirring controversy after Sarah Sanders lectured civil rights icon John Lewis for boycotting a civil rights museum opening in Mississippi this weekend because the president is attending. Sanders wrote, we think it's unfortunate that these members of Congress wouldn't join the president in honoring the incredible sacrifice civil rights leaders made to right the injustices in our history. The president hopes others will join him in recognizing that the movement was about removing barriers and unifying Americans of all backgrounds. Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Cedric Richmond, chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. Congressman, thanks very much for being with us today. Well, Thank you for having me. I was wondering what your reaction is to Sarah Sanders' tweet, which is in response, of course, to well, John Lewis. This White House, time and time again, uh, needs education. If you go back to Black History Month, they thought Frederick Douglass was still alive. Uh, they also thought that historically black colleges and universities were founded on the basis of school choice, not because of segregation. And for this White House to lecture John Lewis and Benny Thompson about the sacrifice of the people that are in the museum, when it's very well John Lewis, Benny Thompson, and others in the museum, I think just shows a level of uh, ignorance on the civil rights movement that's unfounded. But the other part is, whenever the president finds himself engulfed in a controversy surrounding Russia or new revelations, he always pivots towards race. and. Uh, he uh, very well knows uh, the sacrifice of the Congressional Black Caucus and our members in terms of making this country a more perfect union. And I, as chair of the Black Caucus, I, as a younger member and someone who's benefited from the sacrifices of John Lewis uh, getting beat to a bloody pulp within inches of death, uh, will always stand with him and with Representative Thompson from Mississippi as they uh, comment on what's appropriate and not appropriate. And if you look at President Trump's policies, it's very clear that this administration has a lot more to do on the issue of civil rights, discrimination, injustice, and uplifting the minority community. Do you want to just uh, tell Sarah Sanders and anyone in the White House who's watching what happened at Bloody Sunday? Well, uh, if you look at that march across the bridge and when the state troopers beat uh, John Lewis, who was marching for access to the ballot box so people like uh, me would have an opportunity to get elected, but so that African Americans can participate in the most important component of democracy, and that's the right to vote. And uh, we all know what happened on that Sunday. Uh, but what I would really urge uh, the White House to do is to explain how you nominate 59 federal judges and only one is an African American, how you nominated over almost 40 U.S. attorneys and only one is African American. So I don't worry about their ignorance of the civil rights movement as I do their perpetuation of discrimination in the White House now, whether it's equating white supremacists with peaceful protesters who protest racial injustice, or looking at the uh, discrimination in the nomination and hiring process within this White House. Those are real things that uh, we look at and that affect our community. I also wanted to ask you about something that, that Roy Moore said in September. This was quoted in the LA Times when uh, people were suggesting that America First was being used in some communities as a dog whistle to a time before uh, white America was challenged with multiculturalism as much as it now some people may feel it is, uh, that it was a racially motivated slogan in some communities. And this is what Roy Moore said on the record to the LA Times. I think it was great at the time, you know, when America was great. When families were united, even though we had slavery, they cared for one another. Our families were strong, our country had a direction, which can only be interpreted as a defense of slavery. Well, look, Roy Moore and the fact that the, the president and the Republican establishment are wrapping their arms around him and trying to get him elected to the United States Senate, one of the most important positions in the country, is just uh, appalling. Whether it's his uh, questionable record on women and all of these credible allegations or his questionable philosophy on race. And that statement, I think, just cements that uh, he doesn't get it. So it's a pivotal moment for Alabama to show where they stand. Are they in the 21st century? Are they progressing and fighting for women's rights and 
uh, minority rights and black rights and uh, Hispanic rights and all of those are are they going back to the past and that's for people of Alabama to decide I know where I will be on the record I think that Roy Moore's comments uh, show exactly who he is and he is a guy that uh, does not understand uh, the value of diversity. He's a guy who perpetuates everything uh, that's wrong and to justify or even make an excuse for slavery is absolutely uh, poor judgment and it shows who you really are and that's somebody who shouldn't be in the United States Senate. Congressman Cedric Richmond, thank you very much for joining us from Louisiana. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.